All right, looking forward to this. Over the last few weeks, we've highlighted three women doing remarkable things in their communities. Erin Ivory is joining us now once again with our fourth Remarkable Women contest finalist. Yes, and tonight I have the absolute pleasure of introducing you to our last finalist, a woman who has been uplifting and inspiring women in Chicago for years. Her name is Rohini Day. Vermilion Restaurant has a loyal following for both its creative cuisine and trendy vibe. Sauce. But its owner, okay. Rohini Day, is undoubtedly the secret sauce. When I entered restaurants, it stunned me, though, how few women actually own their own businesses. Mm. And I strongly believe that power comes from ownership. When the pandemic hit, she set out to find them, to let them know they weren't alone. She pulled about 20 of us together in this group to say, hey, we need to stand up for ourselves. We have strength in numbers, and we can make they threw this. 20 became 30, then 40, meeting to discuss ideas and band together as women restaurateurs. It proved to be such a magical moment for us. Not just the catharsis of it, but the whole alchemy of we related on a very different level. And that's when I realized that I'd stumbled onto something that was sorely needed. It was the beginning of what's now known as Let's Talk Women, a group of female restaurant owners sharing resources, support, and success. We all think she's fantastic. I don't see how you can't because she's just a force of nature. She really is. Together we've grown this group to now over 80 of us in Chicago, all women owners and still growing rampantly. This action-led movement, now nationwide, 600-plus women strong, has resulted in gatherings like this one in 14 cities. Good evening, Chicago! It speaks to the culture of women supporting women, having a voice, um, empowering yourself through other women, having a support system. Highlighting the food and sage advice of other female restaurant owners. And Let's Talk Women has really given me access to so many incredible female founders in the city of Chicago. Opening doors and changing the landscape for new entrepreneurs like Jennifer Chan. We're not competing against each other, we're here to lift each other up. And I've been really grateful to have so much advice from amazing mentors from this organization. Rohini Day weaves through the crowd. She single-handedly built, no longer marginalized, but a powerhouse of women with one collective voice. We give each other the courage to do things that we wouldn't have done otherwise. She's just amazing. I'm proud to call her a friend. Success can be measured many different ways. For Day, it's how many women you carry with you on the way up. And Let's Talk Women launched in another new city last week. Detroit is now the 17th. And the yeah. power and the momentum behind this movement is remarkable in itself. But none of it would have happened without that amazing and remarkable Rohini Day. So very cool. And tomorrow is our big winner announcement. Okay, I don't know how we pick the winner because we they're don't, all goodness, amazing. We don't. We don't. <laughs> but Somebody else does. Exciting. We have nothing to do with it. Yeah. And we're going to announce it live on air here tomorrow. Which is great. Yeah. Co-winners. Yes, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. So. Thanks, all right. Sarah. Sounds good, Aaron. Thank you.